I'm blown away because it's five o'clock on Sunday afternoon and I've managed to build the MVP, actually way more than the MVP, of my web app idea, which I've done a couple of videos on already, my build, launch, rank challenge, where we build, launch, and rank on Google a SaaS product or a web app. And today I want to show you in this video exactly what I've been working on this afternoon, show you my process of going from the idea into actually having a functioning working product. So the idea of this challenge was to find a web app or a product idea that had proven demand. And to do that, I was looking at Google search data to see if there were keywords that had high search volume and that there's a lot of people searching for them every month, but low difficulty in that there's not much competition and maybe the solution doesn't exactly exist. I picked out an ideas platform that I wanted to go and build, which is what I'm going to go through in this video using Claude and Replit and why I chose each and how the, the build is unfolding. So you can see this was my work in Claude previously from um, the ideas prompt to, to sort of flesh out some ideas. Basically, I got it to analyze this keyword data to come out with some top niche categories for idea platforms that I could build. And if you're wondering what an idea platform is, I'll explain it in a second. What I actually ended up with was looking at this set of keywords around bucket list ideas. You can see this is my keyword research tool and you can see bucket list ideas, the keyword, the search term has 22,000 people searching in the United States alone and a keyword difficulty of 29, which is pretty good. But you can see around here, there's all sorts of other types of bucket list people are searching for. Bucket list ideas for teens, uh, crazy bucket list ideas, 320 people searching per month in the United States just on those exact four keywords and a 9% difficulty. There's not much competition out there. And so that was the seed of my idea to build bucketlistidea.com basically or something or bucket list buddy, because actually not only can we rank for bucket list ideas quite easily, we can rank for like all of these search terms here that you can see on this page that are nearly 60,000 in total volume. And the platform as we'll go through in a minute, will have ideas that people can actually add to their own bucket list, track their progress, say their planning, add dates, maybe put it into their calendar so they can actually track their bucket list ideas, you know, whether it's 40 bucket list things before 40 or just lifetime things or retirement, whatever you want, all within this one platform. Guys, this is a brand new channel as well. So if you get anything from this video, you're excited to follow along this challenge, then please hit the subscribe button and comment below with your thoughts. So initially before I started building, I decided to use Claude and you can see here that it had sort of sketched out an idea of maybe the only problem at the moment I've got to think through is monetization can. This is a bit of a passion fun project, so I'm not massively bothered, but is there a potential where there's a freemium package where you can pay to use the, the list builder or something, or should I link it to affiliate deals? But we'll get to that at a later date. Today is focusing on how quickly we can build this product, which is very, by the way. So I, I started asking it after we'd come up with the initial ideas and sort of firmed up on that was what I wanted to build and thought about Bolt, but then I've been hearing lots of good things about Replit. So I just was sort of riffing back and forth with Claude about like the pros and cons of using Replit. And to be honest, that's what we settled on because I can integrate Stripe if I need, I can link in a custom domain which I will need all really easily. And actually now when Claude 4.0 is interlinked into this system, the stuff happens so good. It, it doesn't really run into so many errors as they used to in the past, which is great. So anyway, onto the build. We're going to use Replit. So before again, I started just going into the Replit dashboard here, which just has like a, a normal prompt box. I wanted to build it out, the idea out with Claude. So we had a full product sort of roadmap and and plan in place before I started actually building. Cause I found in the past, if you just put a quick prompt in, it goes off and builds something, it's not quite right. And you end up hacking around in there rather than starting from a really a good visual sort of map and blueprint from where you want to start. So I asked Claude, what's the best way to approach the build? Can we create lots of different pages for this idea directory? The pay, the, the concept needs to think about, there's a really important part of this of SEO is I need it to rank on Google. So I need all these different category pages that fit into these different bucket list ideas. So I need a category page that's SEO optimized for bucket list ideas for teens, travel bucket list ideas. So that's going to be hundreds of potential pages all populated with ideas, basically. So I was explaining that to Claude here. 
need to target different long tail keywords, add ideas from my own personal list, what I've done along the way. And I even was like, let's think further in the project roadmap about could we gamify the process to make it a bit more fun. And then Claude went away and built out my product roadmap for it, some technical information that, or technical ways we could build it and making sure we're keeping SEO front and center in there. And so we riffed back and forward for a little while until we came up with our final prompt here to give to Replit. I did ask it, you know, is this too much? Is this too little? And we sort of worked out that this was going to be the best way. I also uploaded my keyword research data into here so that it come, it could build into our strategy, the, the keywords categories that we need and the different pages we need to build and the SEO structure of those as well. So we're actually starting from the right place and the right structure from the off. And so I literally took this prompt from Claude and put it literally straight into Replit like this and hit start building. And very quickly, I'll show you this sneak peek here of what we've built. Replit was able to just check the work and say, hey, we can do this. We can't do that. We can't use Next.js, but let's find an alternative plan. And then it started explaining the initial plan and also gave me options that I could add in later. It said, do you want this, this, and this? So I said, I ticked those boxes that it offered, implementing a user dashboard, user generated content, location-based filtering, all into the product roadmap. And then it started building. And you can see very quickly, actually, it built out this homepage. Literally within a couple of minutes, it had already built my homepage, it didn't have so many ideas and functionality in there. And there's a bit of tidying up to do on the top dashboard here and the accounts and stuff. But actually, it came up with the design in there. And the design is usually a bit weak on some of these things. But actually, I also gave into my prompt, I wanted it to be similar to a platform called Nomad List. So I kind of I asked it to like, look at the design of this and use a similar vibe for our one because I want it to be modern, but still a bit adventurous. And you can see it came back rather than leaving it to its own devices. It came back with something quite modern, quite fun and enjoyable to use. Now, so within a couple of minutes, we sort of had this rough sketched out in this design, which is great. It hasn't changed much from this. And you can see here that, you know, yeah, the, what it actually built out. I said, yes, the design is cool. You can see how I'm also interacting with this along the way it is like very relaxed and guess vibe coding, you know, saying I like this, I don't like this, what are we, what do we do next? What's next in the product roadmap? Um, the navigation is simple and easy to use. So what's next? And you can see it's then saying that we did run into some errors. It wasn't actually working at this point. It said we were running into some 500 errors. So it then went started about fixing them and really starting to make the functionality work. So you can see I'm still frustrated a bit with it. We need to make it work. It doesn't work right now. So what do you suggest we make sure the content serves properly? And we went back and forth with this for a while and eventually completed phase one goals, which then led us into growing the content library. This has been the slowest bit. You can see in, okay, the, the imagery needs work and it's a bit of broken bits, but you can see each category has 20 to 30 ideas in some are a bit shallow at the moment for these bucket list ideas. But if you go into these categories, we needed to create all of these ideas. So I, this is what's taking a lot of the time. I don't know whether I should have actually got a thousand ideas together and categorized them all and uploaded them as a spreadsheet before, but it's doing a pretty good job as it at the moment. And you can see we've been filling in these categories with relevant things. So what's this? Summer bucket list ideas, go white water rafting down a wild river. Okay, the images need updating and sorting out. You can see the difficulty and the cost rating on there. You can click into them and get more information about how long it might take, the location, indoor, outdoors, who it's suitable for, age group best season, all this sort of stuff, any tips for success and similar ideas as well, which is all really, really cool. So by this point, it was like, we had to spend quite a while, but like within half an hour, we were at this point of just populating content. So we went and populated content. There's still a lot more to do on populating the content, but it can kind of do a lot of that in the background as well. So we, you can see here, great, let's expand the content library. And we tried a few different ways. I tried via each category. I tried creating a whole list in one. It's a bit of a mishmash at the moment that just needs, I just need to keep working on getting the content in there. We also added the ability to, because I needed to manage the categories and the, the ideas as well. We added an admin dashboard as well. So I can go into each of these ideas here and manage them. So I will be able to go in and tweak 
images if I need to. If the AI is not able to add tags, make sure they're in the right categories and all that sort of thing. So we can manage ideas and we can manage categories as well and go and start adding stuff in manually. And we can check the analytics as well. Not too bothered about those analytics, but that admin dashboard is really helpful to build, to make sure stuff is built um, or tweakable for me. So all of these categories, and again, the images need sorting out, but insane bucket list ideas, cultural bucket list ideas. These are all different bucket list category ideas, which people can click into, for example, camping bucket list ideas, and they'll be able to add, you can already, I'll get to that in a second, my bucket list feature, which is the last thing I've added today. But this is a keyword, basically, camping bucket list ideas. If we go back into our list here and say camping, or actually we go, let's just check it on our keyword research tool here. You can see camping bucket list ideas. Okay, there's 20 search volume for it, but it's an easy 20 search volume per month to, to pick up for me now because it's all sort of programmable and automated within this system to build these cards into these different sections, basically. And we ran into a few little errors along the way to get to this point. Let's see what we can find here. Some of the generic categories. Okay, we had the problem that all the categories were just showing the same ideas. So I had to go and ask it to fix that, which was simple. Again, hey, it's showing all these ideas. Can you make sure that they are individual or correctly categorized? And there was a small database error and it went and fixed all that. Then I wanted to build the user interface and the UI to create an interface where people users could save their favorite ideas and then see and organize their bucket list, which is the really cool bit about this platform. Basically, it's not just going to be a list of ideas. You can actually click this my bucket list here. You can create an account and you can start adding items to your bucket list. And the design's OK. Like, again, these images could be tidied up and it's quite cool. But you can see that you've got your list of things here. I mean, the image there, start a book club with friends, learn to surf, all this sort of things. So they can sit in your category list. You can also select them whether they're in a planned state. And I think like be cool to add like a calendar functionality or something so people can actually put stuff in their calendar. What's in progress, anything that's taking time, you know, if it's take a hot air balloon right at sunset and you've booked it, that could be in progress and then stuff that's complete so you can see what you've ticked off. And from, from there, I think it'd be cool to add some game gamified or some leaderboard or maybe collab boards where lots of friends could team up to create boards or, you know, all have the same one and, and gamify it to see who's on the leaderboard of things they've, they've achieved, which would be cool. There's still a few things that I was struggling with this. The email user login wasn't there. So we needed to create that. And that had a little bit of registration things that you can see. And when I get an error, I tend to just copy and paste any errors that are coming up here back into here and say, can you sort it out? Sometimes it takes a few stabs at it. But eventually now, I, I used to find these programs used to get stuck. Now with the, I think using the new Claude 4.0, they seem to work it out and be able to keep going on a task until it figures it out. And we tidied up the header a bit as well. So the next, the final bit of today's build to get it to pretty much a usable state was the add to my list and my bookmark buttons. So in each new ideas, what's in new ideas? I haven't checked all of this out really. <laughs> so in here, you can see this little heart button here. I wanted, that didn't exist before. So I wanted a quick way for people to just go and click and add things to their list. And hey, it's actually working now. Added to bucket list, the bucket, the idea has been added to your adventure list. That's cool because that wasn't working. When I was hitting that before, the state of the button was just going back to normal and it was allowing me to add them in multiple times, as well as uh, you can see this bit here, that was not, that was clickable multiple times. And the this had a, if I show you an unfilled one, unfulfilled, <laughs> uh, you can see here when you click through, you can see that actually that tab can be added to bucket list and add to my list. Now, when we click it, it goes in your list. That was a struggle and wasn't working before. It wasn't changing state. And it was also ending in errors here that we've got. For some reason, we've got an error on my list, my bucket list. Oh, no, here we go. I don't know why that error there, but we were getting, we were able to add things multiple times to the list. So again, we needed, you can see me fixing this error several times, add to my list, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so when the idea is added to my list, can we show that the, it's filling in the heart symbol, bookmark symbol, and make sure the user can't add the same idea twice. And you can see it goes away and tries to work on it. I say nothing has changed. It tries again. And it did change a quick flickering status on that little heart when you clicked it, but it's still allowed multiple times. And again, I then I broke it down and said, can we focus on the multiple times? And then we'll focus on the status change. And we're still getting some errors, but pretty much we got there now. So now we're at a state 
where that's as far as I got today. If we can just populate more content, add some images, or tidy up the images so they correspond to their categories, actually, we're in a state where a user can use this to create an account, start adding stuff to their bucket list, tick it off as well. And so from here, it's just a case of getting it connected to a custom domain. And in the next video, once we've got through that, I can show you how I'm going to launch it on Google, get it connected to Search Console, get everything indexed and see how quickly we can start ranking and generating traffic for this.